Hi there, my name is Samson and welcome to my channel. As you can probably see from the title, this is a very interesting video. I am a Canon user. I've used Canon my whole life. I've never gotten into any other camera systems, but now I'm sitting with this. I got this in the mail today and uh, this is interesting. Let's first talk about why I got this camera. I've been wanting to upgrade my camera for a while now. I'm using my Canon M50 as my main camera. I've for a long time looked for something that is better for video, better for photos, and is still very compact and lightweight so I can bring it on different trips I'm going on. And that's why I got this. And I've actually not turned this on yet. So that's probably what you clicked in on here for, to see my reaction to using a Fujifilm X-T3 for the first time ever. So let's just do this. This is the on. Oh, I forgot the battery. One sec. <laughs> there you go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Oh, that's cool. So I'm just trying to figure out everything right now. Sorry, I, I'm i very confused. This camera did come with a manual, of course, but you know what photographers do with manuals? Why does this not work? That was very stupid. Now I have to figure out this by myself. I'll be back in like 24 hours. I'm back. So 24 hours have gone by, or actually it's been like a week. And I've really gotten to test this camera. I went to a city nearby where I went out with some friends and took some photos. And let me just give my first thoughts on this camera. This is a beast. This is absolutely amazing. What is going on? It's very easy to say good things about this camera because it's just packed with specs. Disclaimer. This is not a beginner's camera. I would not recommend any beginners to get this camera. I would recommend something like a Canon 80D or a Canon M50 for a beginner because those cameras are a lot more user friendly. It's very easy to compliment this camera on so many levels. Uh, everything from the build quality, the kit lens it comes with, which in my opinion is probably the best kit lens on the market. And there's just so many things that I can do with dials and stuff by setting up my buttons the correct way, which is great. One thing that is kind of sad about this camera is the screen. People, why don't you just do flip screens? This screen, it flips up like this, it flips like this, and it flips the other way around, but it doesn't flip out. So that's just something I need to get used to because I'm very used to the flip screen uh, like I have on my M50 right here. The grip on the camera is also a bit sad because you don't really get much of a grip with this little lump right here. I feel like this camera feels great in the palm of your hand because um, the size is perfect, but I feel like the grip could be a little bit better. It's getting a bit dark, isn't it? And right now I'm just saying all the things that I have of critique. It's really not a lot because like I said before, I'm in love with this camera. It works like a charm, but there are some small things that would be nice to have, but I accept that they're not there because this is a phenomenal camera. I've bought like five more batteries for this because I'm gonna use it at weddings and stuff. You really don't get a lot of battery life on this. Yeah, and other than that, like this camera, Guys, I'm gonna buy more lenses. I'm also gonna buy a fringer adapter, I think it's called. It's like, so you can add Canon lenses and stuff. But these were my first thoughts on this camera. And I'm gonna end this video off by throwing a slideshow on with the photos I've taken with this camera already. So you guys can kind of get a feel of what I really love about this camera. So hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much, bye.